We're talking about three and a half to four billion birds. It's coming out of Canada, really the boreal forests every year, tremendous numbers of individuals. Every spring and fall, billions of birds are overhead. Ever wonder why you've never seen them? The magnitude of nocturnal migration dwarfs the magnitude of, of diurnal migration. Birds are moving at night and they're doing so en masse. My name is Andrew Farnsworth. I'm a research associate at the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, and I study bird migration. Animal movements and penguins being able to see these movements during the day, that captures people's imagination. When it comes to what's happening at night, it is quite the mysterious suite of phenomena. But there is one way to see this invisible migration. There's a long history of using radar to study bird migration. Even uh, in the, the developmental phases of using radar during World War II to track aircraft, it was very clear that these really odd patterns that did not correspond to aircraft and didn't correspond to weather actually corresponded to birds in the atmosphere. That was the first, I think, true appreciation of the scale that um, was occurring. 142 radar stations across the continental U.S. detect bird migrations. That data is visualized by a project called BirdCast. When you visit the BirdCast website, which is birdcast.info, you see a bird migration map, uh, very similar to what you see on the Weather Channel. In near real time, you see a live migration map. And, and on any given night during a particular migration season, Sometimes we may see four or 500 million birds aloft. In terms of the production and maintenance of those populations, the boreal forests are absolutely critical. Every year, there is a huge population of many species that are returning to the boreal forest to breed. They can produce young there, they can support young there, and then obviously when conditions become less favorable, those birds depart from there and move to other locations. Some of these birds are traveling on the order of five to 8,000 kilometers one way. That's a huge, huge journey, They're almost connecting the poles. Understanding those movements and thinking, okay, this will give us information about perhaps about some more fundamental ways that these systems are functioning and then give us a better understanding of what happens when we start to change them. More at borealconservation.org.